Just honey, huh? Who's your supplier? Ha-ha! <laughs> Hungar! Prepare to feel the sting! <laughs> I could beat you with my rapier whip. Nice try. Honey come from? Where? Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and the top of this. All of it! No pushing. Plenty of smoke for everyone. Move it, my pretties. Time to bring in the harvest. Milk here. Get your smoke here. We shall return. You haven't seen the last of us. We have not yet begun to fight. Retreat! Who was that guy? He was like a crazed madman with that smoker. That's Freddy. He's the head beekeeper. Beekeeper? He keeps bees? He rules the apiary. Someone's got to take him down. We're with you. What's your plan? My plan? I, I meant someone else. Someone less put off by being smoked. But look around you. We need your help. It's just you and me, Smokey. Where there's smoke, there's Freddy. I love bees and smoke, bees and smoke. Thus smoke Zarathustra. All right, fellas, I'm in. Oh. Woohoo! 
luck next time. Don't quit now! Don't quit now! Nice try. Oh, hello, little birds. Hey, do you smell smoke? Huzzah! Hooray! Way to go, Barry! We showed him! Now it's time to show everyone else. Do you think I don't see what you're up to? I'm sorry? You're trying to steal my girl. Whoa, dude, just hanging out. What's that in your hand? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? Well, that's exactly what I'm remembering. <laughs> Ken, okay, one word. Waffle cone. All right, it's a compound word. Arr! Ken, what's the problem? Is it me? Come on, I'm big enough, I can take it. Watch the wing! Arr! Arr! 
this over a drink oh sure this one's on me Liquinet with Fermahold, a favorite of old ladies everywhere. That's right, B. And you're about to have a bad hair. Oh. Hey, Ken, Ken, okay, one word. Waffle cone. All right, it's a compound word. Okay, one word. Waffle cone. All right, it's a compound word. Ow! Problem. Is it me? Come on, I'm big enough. I can take it. Ow. Ow. What are you doing? Um, nothing. You are in big uh. trouble, mister. 
Come on, all the way in, and we're flying, we're flying. So tell us more, Barry. Yeah, Barry, tell us how you felt during the trial. What? Oh, sure. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, this, in the human world, is a court of law. And in this court, all beings are created equal and entitled to be heard. And that's exactly what I did. I stood right here and calmly, eloquently presented our case. Your Honor, I object on account that Mr. Benson is a no-good, a no-account insect who sought to dig up all sorts of so-called evidence and put to harm and ruin all of the plans for domination which I so craftily formulated and handed down, not to mention making a mockery of this court and our sacred judicial system. I therefore move for a mistrial. You can't move for a mistrial. We won fair and square. Besides, the court's not in session. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Any calm and eloquent last words now, Benson? Yes. Run! I mean, fly! I hold you all in contempt. No good, I have to turn around. Ow, ow, ow. Overrule! I object! Ow! Ow! Want some more? Having a bad case of the hive. Other side. You ruined my plans for world. Ah, uh, the action's over there. I object. Whoa. Some more? You missed. Little help here. Too bad the scales of justice aren't in your favor this time, B. Guys, come on, we're all in this together. If we let this guy win, what does that say about us as a species? Are we bees or are we keychains? Keychains! No, we're bees. Hey, he's right. We are bees. Right. Come on! Let's get him! Except you, keychain guy!
strong! We won! Yay! Woohoo! Hurrah! We did it! He wasn't so tough! It's over, Montgomery! Your ruling is overturned! It started with honey, but it nearly wiped out the entire world! Could it happen again? The answer might shock you. Watch as I wrap up the fascinating interview with Barry B. Benson tonight. I am Jeanette Chung. Hi, Barry. Listen, my producer insists that I ask you this silly question. I apologize in advance, but don't worry, it's a softball. I'm here to answer any and all questions, Jeanette. Fire away. Good. Were you aware of the delicate balance in the ecosystem between bees, flowers, and humans when you went on your selfish, foolhardy crusade? <laughs> wow, you're not kidding around, are you? Okay, so I made a few mistakes. But there is a bright side, you know. Oh? How so, Mr. Doom? Well, I think everybody learned how important they are, not just to the hive, but to the world around us. The truth is, from pollen jock to factory drone, every bee is a queen. I mean, not like... I mean, you know what I mean. We're, we're all uh, special. I see. So with the honey case wrapped up, the conspiracy foiled, Montgomery brought to justice and the world restored, what's next for Barry B. Benson? You know what I meant before, right? I mean, I, I wasn't saying that I could be the queen. I got it. So what's next? Maybe acting? Nah, I'm not much of an actor. I mean, I'm good with a funny line, but I, I don't think I could play real emotion. Any last words for the audience, Barry? Just that this has all really been an adventure for me, and it's what I wish for everyone, be or human. May your life always be an adventure. A wish for adventure from a bee who's had quite an adventure himself. We'll now take you out live with Barry and the Pollen Jocks restoring the world. What? Live? That's amazing. Oh, wait, this is where we do the reenactment, isn't it? You're catching on. So much for the magic of television. You've been watching New Hive Tonight.